Hi, Laura here from Super Sweet Life to show you how I use my laminated sheets. This is what I usually hang on the outside of my freezer, my freezer inventory. This is one of my favorite sheets. And all I did, I, I did print this on pretty high quality bright white cardstock just because I like how well the print shows up. But you could do this on a regular sheet of paper. And then if you have a laminator, you can just laminate it and then you'll be able to reuse this many times and, and erase and wipe things off. So I really like doing that. And I want to show you how I prefer to write on these. So the first option, of course, this is actually just a regular dry erase marker. It's a Martha Stewart brand. Now, when it comes to regular markers for dry erase products, the only, this is like really the thinnest tip that I have found. And writing on things like these, I just kind of think, um, it's a little too big, it doesn't look as neat, and I can't really write as much on one line as I'd like to. You can see how big that is. So I don't really prefer those markers. Um, the one perk is they erase the easiest with just like a dry paper towel or if you had an actual eraser uh, from a dry erase board. They will erase very, very easily and cleanly. But here's what I prefer prefer. Uh, one item that I really like is this brand of markers. I have this whole set. I use it for everything. They're very thin tipped markers. But you can see how thin that is. So they write really well on there. These I got on Amazon. The other pens that I like really well, they're called Sharpie Pens. Um, I, I think I just found these at Target. They're not too expensive. And they, again, are really, really fine-tipped marker. And they write really well on here. So. One thing to note, just like on a regular marker board, if you were to write down here, and then... You know, it takes a while to dry and put your hand on here when you're writing something else. It'll kind of smear it up like that. So you want to make sure you go from top to bottom and you don't smear things that you've just written. And all you do to erase these kind of markers, especially if they've been on there a while, you probably are going to use need to use something more than just a dry paper towel. The best thing is actually the Expo spray that you use on dry erase boards or even like just a general cleaning spray or just dampening it will take take that marker right off. And to show you how I like to use my freezer inventory, I tend to have a lot of the same things in my freezer all the time. So what I do is I put a sideways slash for each item that I have and then when I use it you can see I put a another slash a little X to show that it's used. And then if I fill up all 10 of these boxes, I just erase and start over. So that way I always know what I have in my freezer and I'm not digging around looking for something that's not really there. And I'll be honest, um, I can't, I really am challenged when it comes to organizing my freezer. So since it's not overly organized, having this like inventory to even know what's in there is, is really, really helpful to me. So I also do this with a menu planner so I don't have to like reprint it every every week when I want to write my menu. Um, I have, you probably can't see over here, but these are actually hanging on my wall. I have my little checklists for like things I, I do each day and week and then I can put a little check box when they're done at the end of the week so there's no checks. But So those are just some things that I like to do this with. Hope that helps you.